explain again what you just said. About what? Yeah. About the characters them stabbing each other. Well. Yeah, these kids, yeah, alright. Knowing them, understanding them, there's an emptiness there that we never had when we were young. Then back in the 60s and 70s. Um, we, we knew who our enemies were. It was my enemy, it was the National Front. Yeah. The police. And well, I'm not even dealing about enemies, yeah. you know. I was dealing about. No, 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 I was, I was no black on black. Yeah, yeah, no, no, I was dealing about the characters in terms of. It must be something that made us love each other. And like you said, maybe the fights against the skinheads, maybe the fights against the, the, the National Front, maybe is that, and we loved each other. Back against the war. And so everybody's back against the war, so we love each other. These kids don't have that kind of situation because you're getting white mixing with black, you're getting black mixing with white. The other day I was talking to a white guy, I said, yeah, my, my best mate, and he meant it. He's a black guy and I'll die for him, vice versa. And that's how it is in society today. So these kids today, I think it's a bit too easy for them. In terms of, there's nothing to fight for, so they fight each other. True. They're, they're true, not fighting true. for no culture, they're not fighting for no understanding, they're not fighting for education. They're fighting for something that I call deep down within, which is hatred. Sorry? Would you say materialistic thing to fight? Yeah, the material. So I will stab you. Yeah, because. My I trainers. Know that I can get XYZ. Yeah. yeah, and their trainers are getting more expensive. expensive. I'm thinking, wow, that's not it. My tracksuit is getting more expensive. Wow, that's not it. So yeah. you'll get a young boy mugging another young boy for his trainers. So I'm saying, no, no, you, you can work and get that. Then. Come on, you don't have to go be mugging it. No, but I'll stab him, fam. You stab him for it, yeah, fam. I'll stab him, man. Did you hear that on the regular? Yes, yes. So you when you when you're doing the football and that you hear that? Well, outside of the football, because we right. the football, I wouldn't allow, allow that near the football. Yeah. That kind of talk, that kind of understanding about themselves, it's a different teaching. I'm teaching them to love each other, and they do. From the age of four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, I coach that age right up. And believe you me, within my arena, they must love themselves. I've had this young man, this young man beside me, son, play with me from the age of. 12, 13, 14, as a coach, and he's learned to love himself, and he's gone through life like that. The other day I tried to make him comfortable, but he's loving life so much, he's developing life. I don't see not one bad bone in him, and for me, that's beautiful, and I would love him to death, and he would love me to death, and that's what it's all about. I think that's what's missing in life today, is that they're lo loving each other. They're loving Versace. So where do you think that's going to go 10 years from now? If they're not loving each other like that, what are we gonna have? I can only I can only see gonna, I can only see him, I can only see him getting worse. To if it doesn't get him better, it just gets worse. And I can't see them getting back to that love. I can't because To what extent do you think it could go to? More death, more murder, more so than one a day, maybe three a day, four a day, five a day. So, yeah. You read the paper, it's not just front page anymore, it's a middle page. And instead of the sport page, yeah, you're gonna get somebody getting to the back page about a killing as well. And that's kind of sad because a 17 year old killing a 17 year old over a pair of trainers. You know what the government said, the statistics, yeah. They said the youths that are living that kind of lifestyle, their lifespan statistically 25 years of age. For me, that's sad. I, I'm, I'm crying now. Why are we talking about this now? Inside, I'm crying. It's not just white youth or black youth or yellow youth or Chinese. It's all the youths of society. I try to look at it and think it's the government, but it's not the government. Because these boys can go to a university, they can go to college and get a good education. Personally, I think the beginning of the problem is MTV. MTV? Yeah. Living like those stars and it's not real. They believe that's real, the gangster shit in America. They believe it's real and half those guys are not real gangsters. It's just a record company give them that kind of ideology to make records and sell records. As in the lyrics and everything. Because most of these guys are decent guys. They're very decent guys. When you go to America, they live very decently and decent life. But they use that kind of genre to make the record because that's what the kids want to hear. And it's kind of sad, and these kids in England are adapting that. I, the dogs that they have, her ferocious job, the jewelry that they wear, the trainers that they wear, the tracksuit that they wear. It's an image. It's kind of a cloned image though, isn't it? Yeah, it's, it's a sad clone as well because the violence go with that clone. If the violence didn't go with it, good, we can become entrepreneurs. But the violence is the downfall of that growth. So the aim is about money mindset at the end of the day.